Number 59. What total capacitances can you make by connecting a 5 microfarad and an 8 microfarad capacitor together? All right. So basically, there's only two ways to connect these two capacitors. Either it's going to be in series, which would look like this, where one capacitor directly follows the other. Okay. So whether this is, you know, whether whether this is horizontal, they're showing it, right, or whether it's rotated, you know, 90 degrees and then it looks vertical, that does not matter. But here we know that the capacitance here is going to be 5 microfarads, and here it's going to be 8 microfarads. That's one arrangement. That's series. Okay, series. The next one would be then parallel. So that looks like this now. So here's the two capacitors, right? Okay, and this would be then, it doesn't matter which one's which, 5 microfarads, this will be then the two, 8 microfarads, and this is now the parallel arrangement, so I'll write that here, parallel. All right, and the way to tell the difference, you know, you kind of have to visually see this, but the capacitors in series, and this will be the same for the resistors, you can think about like charge in the next chapter, that is, you can think about charge flowing through, anytime, uh, you know, if, if it, in order to get to this capacitor, if the charge, you know, so to speak, had to flow through the first capacitor, then that's a series arrangement. In parallel, it's exactly the opposite, right? In order to get to this capacitor, you do not need to go through this one, and vice versa. For the charge, if I started here to get to this capacitor, it did not have to go through this one. The charge kind of, you know, breaks away and it can go through each one simultaneously. That's parallel. Okay, so once you recognize that, now this problem becomes simple. There's only two ways to do it. So in series, the formula is to add up the capacitances as 1 over the series capacitance, meaning the total capacitance in series, is equal to the 1 over the first capacitance value plus 1 over the second, and then the third, etc., depending upon how many you had. So this is just going to be 1 over 5. You can keep this, by the way, in microfarad. We're just doing addition, so it really doesn't matter. Just, you know, be careful. Note that your final answer will be in microfarad. So this is 1 over the series capacitance. So it's simply add them up. 1 over 5 plus 1 over 8. It's 0 0.325. Great. How do now, now remember this is not the answer. How do I now solve for this? This is in the denominator. Well, i got to bring it up into the numerator. All i got to do is literally do a switcheroo ski. Okay, just do a little cross multiplication ski. I don't know. I tried. I tried. It didn't work out too well. So, so here, just take 1 divided by that value, and this is about 3.08 or so. 3.08. Notice here, important thing, anytime you have capacitors in series, this is in microfarads, anytime you have capacitors in series, the total capacitance then in series right, will be less than any of the individual capacitors. So that's something to kind of memorize. Resistors will be the exact opposite right, of this capacitor uh, idea. So just keep that in mind. Next, to then find the capacitance in parallel, you just simply add them together. Capacitance 1 plus capacitance 2. This is nice, right? It's just 5 plus 8. That's going to be equal to 13 microfarads. Notice that when the capacitors are in parallel, that's not even an F. There's the F. Uh, notice what that when they're in parallel, they essentially sum together, and the total capacitance will then be larger than any of the individuals. All right? And those are the two. That's the only way. All right, guys, thank you so very much for tuning in. I really do hope this helped. Please remember to help us out and subscribe, and we look forward to helping you with more problems. You take care.